In this video, I'm going to show you how to play The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars off of their album, A Beautiful Lie. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if 30 Seconds to Mars was your favorite band of the 2000s. And let's dive in. This song opens up by kicking right into the verse. So we're in standard tuning here, and the verse is gonna sound like this. I'll play it once through. So what we're doing there is we're just using basic power chord shapes. So we start at the third fret of the fifth string, that's a C, and we're in the two string power chord here. So I have third fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string. And then I'm just also going to be using the open third string and the open second string. And the pattern is gonna be this. So that's 5th string, 4th string, back to 5th string, then 2nd string, sorry, 2nd string, 3rd string. And then we slide our power chord up to the D power chord, which is 5th fret, 5th string. So now 5th fret, 5th string, 7th fret, 4th string, still open 2nd, and open third. Then we slide up to the seventh fret. And then down to the second fret. And at this point, we'll kick into the first chorus. The chorus is gonna be using the same power chords. So we'll be using the same power chord shapes, but I'll make it a three string power chord now. So instead of just playing fifth string, fourth string on this C power chord, I'll add the pinky to the fifth fret of the third string. So that's a full C power chord, third fret, fifth string. We'll also be using fifth fret, seventh fret, and second fret. I'll play through the chorus once. So the right hand rhythm in that section goes like this. We're going down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Right here, we'll do an octave swipe. We'll slide up to the ninth fret of the fifth string. And since it's an octave, we'll include the 11th fret of the third. And then on to the seventh fret power chord. So again, up, down, up, down, up. And then at this point, we're the second fret, fifth string, and the rhythm is this. There's a second guitar part there at the end that's playing octave swipes. So it starts with the ninth fret, and then ends on the seventh fret. So while the main guitar is here, that second guitar. And now we're into the second verse. 
There's a completely different guitar part in the second verse, and it goes like this. I'll play it once through here, slow. So let's break that part down. What we're doing is starting on the 12th fret of the third string, and I'm barring with my first finger the 9th fret of the third and the 9th fret of the fourth. So what we're doing is starting at the 12th fret here on the third string, and then we pull off, and when we pull off, we're pulling off to the 9th fret, that first finger that's barred, then I'm picking the 10th fret of the 4th string, pulling that off to the 9th fret of the 4th, using that bar, so we have this so far. Then I'm going to hit the 10th fret of the 5th string, and then go back to the bar, the 9th fret of the 4th. So all together. We'll just repeat that several times. And then the pattern changes to this. Then we'll just be playing 9, hammer on 10, pull off back to 9, and then 12th fret of the 3rd. So. Then we go back to the initial pattern. So that's back to this. And then we go to the second pattern again. Play that twice, just like we did the first time. Now the third time, we're gonna move the, the middle finger over to the 10th fret of the second string. So instead of going here to the 12th fret, we go to the 10th here, and then we go 12th fret of the second string. So all together, that second verse part, slow. And now we're into the second chorus, which will start the same way as the first. So we'll be using those same power chords. At this point is where it'll change from the first. So we'll go down to the second fret and we'll be octave swiping now. Then up to the 3rd fret, then up to the 5th fret, and then all the way up to the 12th fret. And now a second guitar will kick in. So the first guitar will keep playing that same riff that we've been playing. Okay, so the first guitar is playing the normal riff. The second guitar is going to be playing octave swipes, and it'll start at the 10th fret, then up to the 12th fret, then up to the 14th fret. And it'll stay at the 14th fret for the rest of the chorus. And that main guitar will meet up with that octave swiping guitar, and the way it'll do that, it's playing through the original riff. At this point, it goes up to the 9th fret, and then up to the 14th fret. It matches up with that octave guitar. And then we're into the bridge section. The bridge is gonna have a lot of different instrumentals and effects going on. 
there are a couple of specific guitar parts that we can pick out. So one of those guitars is gonna be playing something like this. We'll be at the seventh fret of the third string and we'll be using an open second and first string. The rhythm is kind of similar to what we were doing in the verse. So we'll do that twice and then it'll jump to the ninth fret of the fourth string. And then it goes here. This part is very clear. So we have ninth fret of the third string, then eighth fret of the second, back to ninth of the third, then seventh of the second, ninth of the third, and then seventh of the first. And repeat. And then it'll kick back in to this part. And then ninth fret of the fourth. We go back into. This time it'll go into seventh fret of the first and then seventh fret of the second. So that's reversed. Okay, one more time. So those parts will repeat throughout the bridge and then coming out of the bridge, what we'll do is we'll play the seventh fret, fifth string power chord, it's an E power chord, and we'll include the low E string. We'll hit that four times. On the fourth hit, we'll be bending that power chord. And then we'll be playing these intermittent octave swipes up at the 15th fret of the fifth string. So it's eight hits and then pause. And then to finally complete that bridge section, we'll play this. We'll be up at the 16th fret of the third string. And then we'll pick 14. And then we'll play 15 of the second and then back to 14 of the third. So. And then we'll play through the last chorus and then the song will end using the second verse riff. Is Jared Leto the best frontman of this century? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do in fact have souls.